Today's lesson is on writing equations, and our objective today is for you, the student, to be able to use information from an X and Y table, that's the X and Y information, uh, and we're going to get that information from some points on the graph, and uh, our ultimate goal today is to be able to use that information to write an equation. So all of our answers, um, well not all of them, but most of our answers are going to be in equation form uh, today. So in order to succeed in the lesson, you're going to have to know how to read an X and Y table, and we're going to get pr uh, plenty of practice for that, and then uh, identifying the points on a line uh, with their ordered pairs. And hopefully by now uh, you can do that. If you can't, please review them, or especially number two, review that before you continue with this lesson. Here's our notes for uh, today. How do I turn points on a line into an equation. So there's several steps to this. Uh, and again, your notes should write out the steps and then maybe some examples on the bottom. But really, I should see printed words here. You know, because you're, you are writing kind of the, the how-to to yourself here. So later on when you, um, or it, it isn't fresh in your mind, you have something to go back to. All right, here's our Vocabulary for today, we're going to use uh, coordinate planes, and coordinate planes look like this with the x and y axis. On the coordinate plane right here, there's a line that was formed by an equation. All right, so this line is a y equals x minus 2 line, and we're going to be refer referencing ordered pairs today, which are coordinates x and y, where is it? on this coordinate plane, and then here's what our x and y table looks like, and this is uh, going to be the key part of the lesson, you know, be able to read that and get some information about that. All right, let's launch into the uh, example here. This is the example for writing an equation. Now, what we're going to do is start off with, um, you know, an uh, x and y table where you already have all of the information. Uh, later on, we're going to move into you're going to have an X and Y table with no information on it, and you're going to have to put the information on it. But uh, this one, you know, the X and Y information is already on there. All right, so what we have to do here is figure out um, from the X to the Y, what happened, right? It's either adding something or subtracting something. And the way that uh, you can be sure to figure this one out is uh, just draw yourself a real short number line, right? And so here is negative 2, there's negative 1, and there is 0, and there's positive 1 over there. Um, <clears throat> from negative 2, where the x is, to 0, where the y is, so that's x, that's y, and we're just using the number line to figure out what happened to the x to get to the y, which um, you can find out by just figure out how many steps away is it. It's one step and it's two steps, uh, which means if it's going to the right, I'm adding two. So whatever has, uh, the x is, if I add two, I'll get y, which looks like this when you write an equation. So the y will equal whatever x is plus two. Uh, and then you have your equation. But that's only based on that first set of data. What you then have to do is, you have to go to the other parts of this and figure out, is that really true? Is y equals x plus 2, does that explain all of this, um, this data on this x and y table? Uh, and you can do that by substituting values. All right, so you just pick out another set of uh, data here, and what we're going to do is, now that we have the equation, if we put in these two, um, or substitute the values here for x and y, we should get you know, the same answer on both sides of the equation. So substituting for y, it is now a 3. I'm going to go off of this one right here. Uh, and then substituting for the x, it is a 1. And then I'm going to be adding 2 to that. And what you should see is, on one side a 3, on the other side, exactly the same number, or whatever the numbers are. Uh, and so now I've checked it. I found the um, equation by looking at a number line and figuring out which direction did I go and how many spaces. That tells me, you know, from the x to the y, what happened. And then I uh, confirmed it with one of the other um, pieces of information on that uh, particular x and y table. So now I'm pretty sure 
that's the equation that goes with it. Whoops. All right, here is our guided practice. So if you do not have a piece of graph paper out already, please get one out. And we're going to be going over number one and number two on our guided practice and trying to figure out what is the uh, equation here. All right, so uh, starting again with what we did before, we see the x there and the y there. And so let's put that on a real small number line here. We've had to put negative three and negative six on the line, so that would be zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. And I don't need to go into the positive numbers because I'm working with two negative numbers here. So on my number line now, let's find the x. Here's the x on the number line. Put a dot there and label it x neater than my x, okay? And then uh, we're going to find the y. Here is the y over here. From the x to the y, what happened? Well, it moved one space, two spaces, and three spaces to the left. So the x was here, the y is there. So if I'm moving to the left, I'm subtracting. And how many did I subtract? One, two, three spaces. So whatever the y is will be whatever the x is minus 3. All right, so that's our equation. We can figure it out from the number line, and then we have to confirm it with uh, one of these other uh, pairs of uh, data, right? So uh, let's pick one that we think we could do pretty easily. How about this one? I'm going to substitute the values of x and y into this equation, and I should get it to uh, balance out nicely. So the y is now a 0, rewriting the equation, and the x is a 3, and then the other part of the equation gets rewritten, the minus 3 part. And so I have 0 on one side, and 3 minus 3 is 0. And so if you get the same numbers on both sides, you have checked it, and that's the equation that's made all this. And if you just take a look at the x here and the y, 0, if the x is 0, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So yeah, this, this checks out on a number of levels. But again, just going for the uh, number line first to try to figure out which way did you move on the number line, and it will tell you what your um, equation should look like. All right, here we are with number 2. And number 2, uh, we have a number line that looks like negative 2 and 6 have to fit on it, so this one has to be slightly larger. All right, here would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and positive 6 over there. So if I started the number line here, x equals negative 2, where am I moving from the x to get to there? Well, I'm moving to the right. How many spaces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. So that's a plus 8. So that y will be whatever x is plus 8. That looks like this. y equals whatever x is plus 8. Now I'm going to pick some other data here to confirm that. And so now I'm going to substitute the values. And again, you can do e any one of these. I, you don't have to do the one on the bottom. It just so happens that the one on the bottom uh, is fairly easy, right? So here we go with rewriting the equation with these two values. Uh, the y is now a 10. There's a 10 under the y column. And then the x is now a 2. So I have 10 on one side. Does 2 plus 8 equal 10? Yes, I've checked it. So that is uh, a correct um, equation. Now this is the easy part of the lesson, by the way. The hard part of the lesson is when you have a line on the uh, graph and you have to figure out what equation made that line. All right, and for that, what we need to do is we need to put information on our own x and y table. So uh, again, for the yellow background ones, this is just an example, so you're just watching. Uh, I will create an x and y table. I already did. There's my x and y table. And what I need to see on this line here is that 
Uh, this line contains a whole bunch of different points that are all connected. But what I want to focus on are the points that are not only on the line, but also on the grid. So check this out. There's whoop, uh, one point. It's on the line, but it's also on the grid. So I can give it a coordinate, right? an x and y coordinate. Here's another one on the uh, line and the grid. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, and so there's plenty of them. What about this one right here? It's on the line, but it isn't on the grid. It's in between 7 and 8 somewhere. What I want is I want these things to be on the lines. All right, so that blue one, you're out of there, buddy. All right, so once I pick out a whole bunch of points on the line, now I can tell well, what points or wh where are those points located. All right, that first point right there is located at uh, 1 on the x and then 1, 2, 3, 4 on the y. And so on my table I put 1 and 4. What about another one? Here's another uh, point on the line and that it's over at 2 on the x and 5 on the y. And then uh, let's just pick out this point right here. It is over at 6 on the x and 9 on the y. And now I should have enough information to do what we did before, which is uh, analyze this to make an equation out of it. All right, so if I look at the x, the x is at, and here we go, exactly what we were doing before. The x is at 1. The y is now at so here's the x, here's the y. What happened, or how do we get from the x to the y? We go over to the right, one, two, three spaces. And we're going over to the right, that's adding. And how many spaces is three? So whatever the x is plus three will equal the y. Um, and so we rewrite that as y equals x plus three. All right, and then confirm it with another set of data. And here we go with that. We're going to substitute now. So instead of y, now it's a 5. Instead of an x, now it's a 2. And we rewrite the other part of the equation. So it's 5 equals 2 plus 3 equals 5. And if you get two of the same numbers, you've checked out. And that is uh, your equation. All right, we are ready for our first guided practice problem. Uh, and on well, on this particular skill, which is writing equation that describes that line right there. Uh, and again, what we have to do first is pick out some points on that line that are also on uh, the graph line or on the grid. And so here we go with one of them. I see one right there. That's at an intersection on the grid, but it's also on the line. Uh, and where is that located? It's at 1, comma, 5. And so I put that on my table, 1, 5. Pick out another one. Here's another one. It's on the grid. Uh, it's on the line. Let's see how it's on all those lines right there. And uh, that one's at negative 1, negative 2, and then up to positive 2. So the x is negative 2, moving over first, and then up and down. So that's at negative 2 and positive 2. And here's another one on the line right up there. And where is that one located? It's at 1, 2, 3 on the x. And how many up from 3? All the way up to 7. So it's 3, 7. All right, so again, picking points on the line and then writing those points or where those coordinates are for the points that you picked. 1, 5, negative 2, 2, and 3, 7. All right, so next step. How many, or what is our equation, right? Uh, and so creating a real short number line. I have to go from uh, 1 to 5, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the uh, 1 is here, that's where the x is. And the 5 is where the y is. And so what happened from the x to the y? It's a add 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, moving to the right, you're adding. And so how many spaces? It's 4. So that's the x plus 4 equals the y. Uh, and we write it as y equals whatever the x is plus 4. Now we're going to take another set of data and confirm that. So now rewriting the equation, that's 
7 for the y equals 3 for the x plus the 4, and 7 equals 7. Check. All right, moving on. Now we have uh, another line on our graph here, and we're going to pick some points on that line <coughs> that are also on the grid. Here's one right here. There's another one right next to it, and another one right next to it. And it really does not matter that you pick the ones that are right next to it or the ones that are farther apart. You're still going to get the same relationship here. So where are, are all these points? First point is at over 2 and up 1, so that's 2 on the x, 1 on the y. The next one's over 3 and up 2, that's over uh, 3 on the x and 2 on the y. And the other one is over 4 and up 3, which is x and y, 4 comma 3. All right, now that we've had our data here, it's time to populate that data. <coughs> All right, so we have uh, 1, 2, 3, and then the zeros over there. Uh, so where is the x in that? It's at 2. Where's the y? It's at 1. And so I'm moving to the left one space, and so that's a minus 1. So it's whatever the x is, y equals whatever the x is, minus 1. And I know it looks funny because the other ones all said x plus something, uh, and it was really easy to see, but this one says my, y minus 1, and then the x, but really it's always starting with the x. What's happening to the x? It's minus 1 to get to the y. Uh, and then we have our uh, equation here, and we're going to check it with some other numbers. Let's check it with this set of data here. So now the x is 2, y, uh, y is 2, excuse me, x is 3, and uh, it's a minus 1. So it's 2 equals 3 minus 1 equals 2. All right, and I've checked it out, and so now this becomes correct. All right, we're going to be working out of our homework book. We're doing problems 1 through 6. Some of them will be, uh, you know, the first part where you're just um, analyzing an x and y table that's already populated. The second part is when you have to take an x, y table and um, uh, put points on the graph and then analyze the part. So remember, find a pair of coordinates that works uh, that will tell you the equation. Good luck.